Are you recording yet? Really? Hmm? Are you recording yet? And you didn't tell me. Nope. Don't you think it would have been useful for me to know if you were recording me yet? The little asshole? Seriously? Uh. Whatever. Okay. Part three of my strobe kit. I pulled this out of a light bar. This is what's going to make our strobes light up under the lawnmower. Genius. Shut up. <laughs> anyway. So, I had to find a spot to hide this, and as you can see, I already pulled my gas tank off. My Craftsman lawnmower gas tank sits like that. So, you just kind of remove this. Like and we're going to take a minute here off this strobe situation. If you have a lawnmower, a lot of the times, the gas tanks sit like that. And they sit down in. If you're if you have a mudding mower, I'll tell you right now, in the gas tanks up front, there's two things you can do. One, be cheap and efficient and just turn it around. It may not look as good, but it works a hell of a lot better when you're filling it up with gas at a gas station. Or you take this whole thing and you put it under your ass and get rid of your battery. So, you know. Whatever works for you, do it. But I find it easier to just turn my gas tank around. But the reason I pulled the gas tank off is I'm going to have my little brother come up here. And it's because there's this little ledge in here. Look down in. There's this little ledge here. And this is going to work perfectly for our uh, strobe control. Because if you look at this. Not resistive hay paint. Yeah. If you look at this. It's two inches thick. That ledge, three inches thick to a one inch end. This is going to sit fine right where it has to bolt down. Best part about where it's going, it's not going to get real wet. I'm going to uh, rubber coat this and everything's going to be like perfect on it. So it's going to be completely waterproof. Now to get it in there though, you have to remove the two bolts to hold your steering console. Because this is so long it has to go around your steering shaft. So when you put it in, Make sure you can see how I'm doing this. Try you can see it gets stuck. If you tap this forward, you can wiggle it around and it will sit in place. You gotta rough it in there a little bit. Nice part is though, after you get all that force in there and you get it to sit down. Perfect. After you get it in there, It'll stay there. You actually don't even have to attach anything. But I'm gonna just because it's gonna get bumping around. I don't want it breaking. But now. It's like a $600 stroke. Yeah. If you look in there, he's gonna look. This, even if I move my steering, never touches. When I'm turning, ah, does not grind. So bitch. And I'm running over his toes and it's funny. <laughs> the best part is. All the wiring I can put right into my solenoid. It can go right next to it. So, yeah, I see in there. Mm. I know. so it'll work fine. What I really like about this is I don't really want anything being seen. So pull the camera back. So when I tuck my gas tank on and set everything down, if you step back and look at it, <clears throat> shopping cart wheelchair. You cannot see it. So that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. So. We didn't do any videos on that? No, not right now. No, not right So that. focus on me, damn it! Okay. <laughs> I, I swear. Why do I pay you? You don't. Exactly. So focus on me. That's probably it for right now. When I wire it up. You <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Seriously. Sorry, just. Alright, when I get another video of me wiring it up, I'll let you guys know. Peace.